Well, welcome everyone. I'm so happy to have you here tonight. And I know that our guest speakers are also so happy to be here tonight and to be sharing their stories with you. I am a mama of six kids, ages four through 16. It's hard to believe that I have six humans and I feel so blessed to have them and never expected to have so many children. And my journey through pregnancy and postpartum was not entirely with Plexus. So I have the aspect of sharing with you tonight, both the before Plexus, the BP, and the after Plexus, the AP of pregnancy, and to compare those experiences with you. We're so glad that you're here tonight, whether you are expecting, whether you have children, whether you know people that have children and are expecting, and you're just wanting to get some good information to be able to help other individuals. We're so happy to have you here and just feel honored to have a little sliver of your time tonight. I'm incredibly passionate about pregnancy, postpartum, and children and babies because I have so many and I've lived through that experience of being pregnant six times and the postpartum and I've had both experiences. I've had a terrible experience and I've had a really good experience. And so I have the gift of perspective and I'm grateful that I had difficulty postpartum uh, because once I started Plexus, I was able to see what a healthy pregnancy and postpartum could feel like. It's important for me to also share before we start that we're not claiming to, to diagnose or treat any specific condition. We are simply sharing our personal stories and some information about health and wellness and supplementing during pregnancy. It's also important for me to share that you should always ask your provider and the person that is watching over you through your pregnancy and get approval for those things. And my name is Brooke Hemingway, and I'm going to be hosting this meeting, and a couple of my friends, Crystal, Tara, and Ashlyn, are also going to be sharing tonight. About seven years ago, I got started on my Plexus journey, and quite frankly, I got started because of my fifth child, and really even before that, it goes back to my fourth child. After I had my fourth son, Jacob, I had an entire year that was really just a year of pretty much horrible baby blues, a lot of darkness, tons and tons of anxiety, struggled to get out of bed, struggled to get back on my feet and feel like myself again. And if any of you can relate to this, put a one in the chat. Maybe you've had a child or you've experienced depression and anxiety and you have felt like I'm broken, something's wrong with me. I, I didn't know what it was. Nobody ever talked to me about it. I just knew that I was struggling and I made it through that year. Um, I always tell people it was, it was God and exercise. Like that's what got me through the year. I exercised every day because I had to, that was my job as a fitness trainer and, uh, and my father in heaven, that's what got me through that period of time. And so I got pregnant with my fifth and after I had her, my first girl, I started to feel myself slipping away again. And I was terrified because when I tell you that it was hard after my fourth, that's an understatement. It was really, really brutal. And I was afraid that I was going to go back to that dark place. And maybe you can relate and you've been through that. And I just, I was ready to try something. And I had previously been completely closed minded to supplementation in general and to plexus. I'm a nurse by trade. I worked in the ICU for 10 years. My husband is a physician and both of us were extremely skeptical to say the least, but having a fifth baby just kind of humbled me and it made me be willing to try something that I said I would never try. The thing that got me was a post with a picture of a giant tub of frozen breast milk. Why? Because so many mamas want to be able to breastfeed their babies, and I wanted to be able to. I noticed that my milk production was really terrible with this fifth baby, and it, on top of my other feelings that I was having, just added even more anxiety because I didn't even feel like I could feed my baby as, as much as I wanted to. She was also extremely fussy. She was colicky. Her tummy was hard. She was always gassy and she just was not a happy baby, which for those of you that know Lily now would really be a surprise because she is the happiest, sweetest seven-year-old now. And so I was just in a place seven weeks postpartum where I was like, give me that. If it'll give me breast milk, great. Like anything else that it could do, fine. I didn't care. 
And so I got started on the supplements immediately. I think that my friend just about fell out of her chair when I called her and said I wanted it because I had been a no for a solid year. I started and within seven to 10 days, my anxiety was way down. My energy was up. I wasn't feeling exhausted all the time. I all of a sudden felt rested and she was the baby that I was able to nurse the longest. My breast milk supply came back so much more. I had the energy and motivation to start moving my body. I started eating healthier foods. I know a lot of women are exhausted after pregnancy. And so they're reaching for lots of coffee. They're reaching for energy drinks, maybe diet sodas. That used to be me before Plexus, but I stopped buying the cases of Diet Coke. I stopped reaching for the sugar and the candy cabinet that I had. My bloating went away. It was so much easier to lose the baby weight, which honestly, I didn't even care about. I just wanted to be happy and I wanted to be able to feed my baby. And I didn't want to be exhausted like I was because I wanted to be able to show up for those other four kids that I had. And so it completely changed my postpartum after that fifth baby. And then about a year and a half or so later, I got this inkling that there was another child for us, somehow convinced my husband that that was a good idea. And I had a sixth pregnancy at almost 40 years of age. I had a fantastic pregnancy. In fact, I have this YouTube video of me teaching mixed martial arts, doing jump squats at 37 weeks pregnant. And that's how good I felt. I'm not telling you to go and do that if that's not a part of your normal workout routine, but it just kind of symbolized like, wow, you don't have to be laid up in bed and feeling terrible and just like wishing away your pregnancy. I was full of energy. My mood was good. My body was healthy. My practitioner was on board. I felt so good. And I recovered so well after that pregnancy. Was it a cakewalk? No, of course, I felt that early first trimester nausea that we all get, but overall, it was the best pregnancy I had. And that's saying a lot for my sixth pregnancy at almost 40 years of age. I again was able to bounce back, not in two weeks or two months, but I was able to get back to feeling like myself. And here I am, you know, four and a half, almost five years after having that sixth baby truly experiencing the best health of my life. So that's a little bit about my story. I'm going to turn the time over now to my friend, Crystal, and she's going to share her story. And then we're going to give you just a tiny bit of science behind why this is good for pregnancy and postpartum. Crystal, I'm going to turn it over to you. All right. My name is Crystal Longy. I sound like this, unfortunately, but I am here because I have a message to share. All right. So Plexus found me when I was five months postpartum with twins and I was in a non-savable marriage and I was working. I had gone back to work at five weeks postpartum and I left them with him and I, they were safe. That wasn't an issue, but I wanted to be with my babies, you know, and, and I know every mom knows that feeling that longing when they return back to work, how hard that is. And it honestly turned into something I couldn't control. It was a, it was like a beast that just took over my postpartum depression and anxiety. The depression looked a lot like, you know, you don't leave your bed, you don't do the dishes. Um, when the babies cry, you, you let them. That's hard to admit. Um, the anxiety was a little more wild. Uh, I thought like planes were gonna crash down into our apartment and no matter how I, I knew like that wasn't real life, I couldn't convince myself out of like the terror. It was wild. So I would tell my husband who is from a culture that doesn't uh, practice any type of mental health. They don't acknowledge it at all. So he was just like, I'm sorry, what? So I had to do something fast. Um, I, I wasn't able to go, you know, put myself in an institution to balance out some meds. There was no time for that. I had these babies I had to, to care for. So my friend who was pushing Plexus, she knew better than I knew. And she knew that that was the missing link. That was exactly what I needed. 
And I was desperate. So of course I would have tried anything. And I also could not, I was pumping for the twins. I pumped for eight months, it was brutal. But those first five, I wouldn't get more than four ounces a day, a day. And I would pump like five times prayers, all the, all the anxiety and depression just takes it right away. You, you don't get the choice to breastfeed sometimes when it's like that. So I was determined. I paid all the money for all the funny pills, the oatmeals, all that. I tried, it didn't do anything. And if it did, it was only for that one pump. And I was like, man, that was a lot of effort for just, just that. So, so it was all different when I, when I started taking Plexus and I started with the Triplex and Vital Biome. And probably the first like five people I signed up, I wouldn't let them not get vital biome <laughs> because that, that is why I share. So the first thing I noticed was that I bought a $6 cupcake at Sweet Truth Fairy and it tasted like bleach and I was very mad. I was, you know, postpartum. I wanted the dang $6 cupcake. It was a Samoa cupcake. I will remember forever. Anyway. It tasted like bleach and I was mad. And I gave my friend some and I was like, do you taste the bleach? And she's like, Crystal, no. And I was like, well, this plexus stuff, I'm, I'm mad, I'm mad. Like I'm breaking up with like my best friend's sugar here. It was hard, especially postpartum, different story. Anyway, um, it doubled my milk supply. I wanna say in the first month. I mean, it was like impressive. And I was like, look at this, look at this. I was posting pictures all over Facebook. I was showing people at work cause I was pumping at work. I couldn't even believe it. Uh, it. It was unreal. So they thought I was crazy. I didn't care. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> um, my daughter had such terrible eczema from the horrible formula that the United States provides, but I was ordering it from Germany. And even then the goat formula from Germany, she would get eczema. And I just, I was defeated. This was so hard. I have pictures on my phone still. If you want to see them, I'll send them. There, it's like zebra stripes on her belly. They went from red to white to gone. I'm talking in like a week, just from the minimal breast milk I had at the beginning. It was incredible. I was yelling, I was telling everyone. Um, I started sleeping better, you know, postpartum, that's not real. Yes, it is. I lost 30 pounds. I wanna say between month two and month three. So quick, quick. I don't necessarily remember doing much different, you know, survival mode, twins five months postpartum. I can't say I was, you know, eating chicken and vegetables. That wasn't real. I probably drank more water than I ever drank in my whole life. So that had a lot to do with it, I'm sure. But the reason, the reason I still share Plexus to this day is because of the mental health. You know, it found me in such a hard time um, and it saved me. That's the bottom line. And what's so cool about it and our bodies is that, what is this, five years later, I have a four month old baby and I'm telling Stephanie, I'm like, you know, I think I'm recognizing some baby blues. She's like, well, when are you taking your vital biome? And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I don't miss a day. Like, but I take it at night with bed with, you know, the other probiotic, you know, no big deal. And she's like, girl, take it in the morning on an empty stomach. And I did, and you guys, it was like the first time brand new. I was like ready to run a mile in a minute. I felt like a million bucks. And I, ha I have the blessing of living in Arizona where corporate's located and I pick up my order. Everyone should be jealous. And I am talking to the lady that's standing in line there because I love people. And she's telling me that her sister got her into this and she's not sure. And I got the, the blessing, the opportunity of like bearing my testimony of vital biome to this woman and um, I'm crying with her. I'm telling her that this saved my life. And she's like, girl, I get it. I'm in. What, what, get me one of those. And she left with a bottle. It was so funny, but it was such an incredible time to like, I'm so glad I was there to help her to, to solidify what her sister has been telling her. Um, this is real. This is what saved me. All of our bodies are different, but I mean, if you haven't tried this and given it your 100% effort and listened and communicated, then you need to from the bottom wow. of my heart.
Crystal, I just love you. Like that was so, so powerful and so true. And if you're at all sciencey and you love the science, like you can hear stories and you might think, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Like, I don't know if that's for real. I'm just going to share a little bit of the science. I get to be the boring science person, <laughs> but for those of you that love science, you will love this. Um, Many of you know this, and, and some may not, that a lot of your mental health, uh, your, your, your mental healthiness, I should say, stems from your gut. There's this thing called the gut-brain axis, and there are certain microbes, um, which are those trillions of living organisms that live in your digestive system. And those microbes are producing serotonin. And serotonin is that happy, chill hormone, that hormone that helps you to feel calm, that hormone that helps you to feel happier. And if you do not have the right balance in your gut microbiome, you have too much bad, not enough good, you don't have the right type, the right variety, you are not going to be producing as much serotonin as you could. And that, of course, is going to create those fluctuations in mood, whether that's depression or anxiety. And so it's incredibly important that you focus on your gut health, both before, during, and after your pregnancy. Crystal mentioned a specific probiotic that we have called Vital Biome, as well as the Triplex. Both of those things are incredible supplements that I also took during my pregnancy that are amazing at both helping to kill off and weed out overgrowth of bad organisms in the gut and also populate and, and re-inoculate, so to speak, the gut with the good microbes that are going to help you to produce more serotonin naturally on your own. More serotonin equals happier mama. Happier mama equals happier household, right? Happier baby happier children, happier families. And so it's, it's one of those things that I tell all pregnant women, like you want to be on triplex, but you also want to be on vital biome. I also was a group B positive for every single pregnancy and delivery until my sixth, where I was taking vital biome. And that was the first time I was group B negative. So they did not try to pump me full of antibiotics while I was delivering my baby, which I was super happy about because what do antibiotics do? They kill off the good bugs and the bad bugs, and they would do that for my baby as well. So I can't say that with guarantee, but I have had a lot of people have the same experience as well. Another reason why it helps with the milk supply that we were talking about and the mental health issues that so often can come with pregnancy and postpartum is because of hormone balance. We have this epidemic, especially in developed nations, where about 88% of people have some form of insulin resistance. And when you have insulin resistance, it has this negative trickle down effect on the other hormones in your body that help with milk production. So when you take products like our slim drink, which is minerals and antioxidants that help to balance your blood sugars and improve insulin sensitivity, guess what it does for milk production? it increases it because you have better balanced hormones. It's not just some crazy eat oatmeal cookies, right? Or, or do something else weird or try to pump 10 times a day. No, we're getting to the root. Improving that insulin sensitivity has the trickle down effect of improving the other hormones, which then in turn will help you to produce more milk. It's also really cool that Slim includes the mineral chromium. Chromium is known in the natural holistic nutrition world as a natural mood booster. And so Slim even has mood boosting effects as well. And that energy that we've talked about while pregnant and postpartum the energy from triplex is not because it's a big caffeine shot. The energy from triplex is from balancing your blood sugars. When you're on this wild ride up and down with your blood sugars all day long, you're exhausted. And I used to get hangry and my blood sugars used to drop and I would be exhausted or irritable or nervous or stressed. And just balancing my blood sugars helped me to have that steady, sustained energy that helps me to get through the days. I remember, and Phyllis will remember this about four, four and a half years ago, we were in Florida and we were at Walt Disney for a leadership retreat with Plexus. We do these wonderful leadership retreats where they pay for this trip that we get to go on. I had just had my sixth baby and she was probably a month and a half or two months old. Yes, that's pretty crazy to travel, but I felt so good. And I remember going to Disney and coming home from the park and walking up the stairs, like helping put these other five kids to bed. And like, I needed to go nurse the baby. And I just remember thinking, I should not feel this good. Like, this is crazy that I feel 
so good postpartum. And it just was this moment of gratitude that I'd been nourishing and nurturing my body with good quality supplements that were balancing my blood sugars, keeping my gut healthy so that I could show up in a good way for my family and that I had the energy to do the things that I needed to do. So that's a little bit of the science about why this is so great. I'm going to pass it on to my friend, Tara. And then Tara is going to pass it off to beautiful Ashlyn. And we're going to hear two more incredible stories. Hi, everybody. I'm Tara. I am 40 years old and I have five kids and I am currently brewing number six. So I'm joining Brooke on the number six baby at 40. Um, so how exciting. So everybody always asks me, does this stuff ever really work? Like, you know, does it really make you feel that great? And the only way I can really describe to a mom, of course, because people without kids don't really get the stress of, you know, doing everything all the time. But I always go back to the cartoon version of Corilla DeVille, the part where she realizes all of her puppies are gone. And I did, my computer wasn't working, so I did have a screenshot to show you, but no, of course it's not there. But she's frantic and she's all upset and crazy and out of control, rigid and completely lost her marble. <laughs> okay, that was me. <laughs> that was me. Very pregnant and, you know, totally around. My husband is a firefighter, so he works so much. So really, you know, it's on me for school and activities. And um, we are just a very go, go, go family. I have all four of my kids in soccer right now and bike club and Girl Scouts and just, you know, all the things. Um, anyway, so I actually uh, was introduced to Plexus uh, by another mom friend when I was nine months pregnant with number four or I don't know, somewhere around that ninth month. And I remember saying like, oh, I don't know. I don't want to try something new. You know, I'm pregnant. Um, and what a, what a mistake that was. So to just wrap up um, pregnancy before Plexus. So now I've had one, well, this is my second pregnancy that I will be doing on the um, products. So pregnancy before Plexus was probably, now that I know the difference, the most horrifying moments of my life. Um, it really, really hit me, and I didn't know anything, but it really hit me with number four. So of course, I felt all the same stuff. I was very, very sick. I couldn't sleep. I had restless leg. I would wake up with those god awful um, Charlie horses where you just feel like your life is over. And I would punch my husband like, there's literally a fist in my calf. Like, what am I supposed to do? It hurts so bad. I could just cry. Um, you know, all the things. Uh, the, the worst thing is that I was exhausted. I was exhausted. I was angry. I was depleted. I was so irritable with my kids. Like, the sound of the them laughing was like, I just wanted to rip my ears off and I feel so horrible. Like, okay, they're not fighting. Like, come on. Like, this is why you have so many kids, you know, have a lot of kids. They say it's fun. <laughs> no, but, um, anyway, uh, yes, I had all the cravings. I just felt horrible. Every smell. I remember I would tell my husband, like cook outside, you know, anyway. Um, but more importantly, aside from all the regular, you know, constipation, uh, the a soggy brain, it, like, you know, all that stuff comes with pregnancy, but, uh, here's the difference. But I said for the most of which I, like some of you said, didn't recognize is that I, during pregnancy was severely depressed and I had gotten to a place where I just woke up one morning and told, or in the middle of the night and told my husband, like, you got to just tell the kids I love them. Talk about me all the time, but I just can't be here anymore. I can't be their mom. I can't be your wife. Like, I just, I can't do this anymore. And that was like, oh my gosh, because I am type A. I'm everybody's friend. I'm the bouncy, bubbly girl that has all this energy and does everything. And people are like, how do you do all this? You know? Um, and, you know, I would just like, oh, ha, la, 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 like get around the corner of the school. I'm like, oh my like where's my car I can't wait to get home and I felt so safe and like okay everybody's away from me I don't have to be fake anymore um but aside with the depression came horrible anxiety which I've never suffered from anxiety at all uh I would have a hard time crossing the street with my kids I would sit there and like you know do the back and forth thing going over a bridge I would start hyperventilating because all my kids can't swim in their own car seats and how are we going to cut them all out and all this stuff. I mean, it was horrible. I couldn't live my life like just a normal go to the grocery store. I'm like, who's going to steal my kids? Who's going to do that? It, it was just it was horrible. Um, 
And yes, I saw one of the comments. The four other children, I did test positive for the strep B, but I didn't with baby number five. So that was a huge um, difference. But um, what I did notice through all of the pregnancies leading up to that fourth one, and pretty much right after I got introduced to the products, I collapsed in my kitchen because every time I get pregnant, I suffer from blood clots and they like to just filter through my hearts and lungs. And I would go through the whole routine. I had this chili pepper magnet block that would help dissipate and break down the clot. But if I felt it coming, I would have to hold on and grip to something. So I didn't pass out with the kids there until it could kind of pass. And this was my life, which ended me up in the ER at almost nine months pregnant. Um, and they did CT scans. They did all this stuff. That's another story because they messed up and couldn't come back with any results. Anyway, um, so let's speed up. I had the baby and I had this lovely relentless friend. <laughs> we won't mention names, <laughs> but um, she just kept talking to me about the products. And I finally tried a seven day. I'm like, I'll try the seven day. And let me tell you, my children have their mom today because of these products. And this was just a seven day trial of the pink drink. And I called her, I think it was on like day three or four. And I was like, this is amazing. I feel so energetic. I'm bouncing all over. Like, I don't even care if the kids are fighting anymore. You're just like, handle it and, you know, walk off again. Um, it was just amazing. So I was like, okay, we got to do this. So I just went for it and knew I had needed a change. I think I spent $400 and bought every single thing that I could get my hands on. And let me tell you, it's worth every single penny. So to, um, I got tons of energy right off the bat. The depression and anxiety were like, it was gone. Like, I was like, oh, why did I ever feel like that? Like, how silly was that? Um, what else? Uh, the freaking out, the Corilla Deville. It was like, you know, cool as a cucumber. I was like, oh, that girl at the pool, like, oh, whatever. I don't even know where my kids are. Like, super relaxed. Um, of course, they still get under my skin sometimes. I'm not saying like the world's perfect, but it is just such a nice, easy way. And I just felt so healthy. And I just felt like I had control of my life back. Um, I was, you know, calm and collective. I could have my brain back. I didn't feel so scattered all over the place. Um, and then I noticed a huge difference with my daughter who I was breastfeeding. Um, she didn't have the colicky stuff. She didn't have gas. It wasn't those like, oh, like tightening tummy, you know, things that the babies do. Um, and I mean, it's just amazing. And I can say even now being on the products for even longer, um, I'm like eight weeks in and I keep peeing on sticks because I don't feel pregnant. Like maybe something might like, ooh, that, like a bagel, like, okay, like, ugh, I don't, that didn't make me feel very good, but it was just like, I ate too much or just ate something that didn't agree with my stomach. But my husband's like, we're like $80 in on these sticks. Like, can we just stop? Like, anyway, so, um, if you're looking for a calmer, more focused and energy, uh, uh, you know, easier way to get through stuff and not have all of those typical pregnancy, um, symptoms that people can have, then this is, this is where you got to go. Oh my gosh. I love that, Tara. I know how much this has changed your life and helped you. Like, I just remember meeting you for the first time and you sharing with me, um, really, really in an emotional way. When she says that she didn't want to be here, she means that she didn't want to be here. And it's just so awesome to be able to see how her life has transformed. Another amazing um, example of that is my friend, Ashlyn. And Ashlyn is going to share her story to wrap us up tonight. Hi friends, I'm so happy to be here. I just wanna commend each of you for being on this call tonight. You could have done anything tonight and you chose to be here. You acted on hope to come and learn something that could help you or maybe to come and help learn something that will touch somebody else's life. So I want to commend you and just tell you you're in the right place. You're on the right path. And this is such a good thing. I want to share um, my health story first and just tell you a little bit about me. My name is Ashlyn Hoshan and I have four children. I had four children in three years because I had surprise twins. I found out at 34 weeks that I was having twins. I have a lot of twin friends on here. You guys know that's insane. Um, I had a first pregnancy and it was awful. I was always passing out in the ER, having seizures. I'm talking about like 
over 12 times passing out and laying on the floor in a row, just trying to get from my bed to the bathroom. It was so excruciatingly difficult. And yet I signed up for it again, got pregnant with my second, hoping it would be better. And it was not, it was the same experience. And in this situation, my friend reached out to me about trying a pink drink. And I was like, I don't need a pink drink. I'm pregnant. Like I'm passing out. Didn't understand what it was. Um, I wish that I had just listened on that first time she invited me, but it took me a minute. I started in my last month of my second pregnancy. And on day three, I stopped blacking out. I stopped passing out and my seizures went away. I had the whole rest of that last month as a normal pregnancy. And I was like, can this be a pregnant experience? Is this me being pregnant in my body with this baby? Like, is this real? Because I had had two back-to-back -back pregnancies that were so awful. And it was amazing. My postpartum was incredible. I was full-time feeding my baby and then pumping 50 ounces on top of that per day. That I was popping in the freezer, high quality milk, the postpartum recovery, totally hear you on the anxiety and depression. It was night and day difference. Um, I lost the 50 pounds that I had gained laying in bed the whole time without doing diet and exercise, just my normal living. But I think that it helped that I was no longer craving a bar of chocolate every day and having to eat to, to have energy, which you know that happens, especially when you're exhausted and you're getting up in the night to breastfeed. Because I had such a good last month of that pregnancy, it gave us hope that maybe we could have another child. And I got pregnant again. And I went to visit my family in the Middle East. And I got stuck there because that's right when I got there is when the world shut down. And I was there for five months. I was not expecting to be there for five months. It was, it was so difficult. The first part of my pregnancy was really great, especially that I, I didn't know it was a twin pregnancy, but it was, but I could live my life. Um, and, but I ran out of my products because I wasn't planning on being there for so long. And you know what happened? I started blacking out again. I started having really low energy and I got back to, I was walking and I eventually got back into bed because that's all I could do to just stop having seizures and passing out. And I couldn't get my supplements to me. Eventually by God's grace, I got home. We had a scan and they're like, did you know there's two in here? And I'm like, that makes sense. Cause I'm huge. <laughs> and this baby kicks all the time. Makes sense that there's two, not just one. So it was 34 weeks and they were like, you know, a lot of panic around that of all of this stuff could have gone wrong in your pregnancy up to this point. It's just a miracle that you're alive and, it, and you're okay. I was back in the U.S. with my husband, which was amazing. Um, and of course, back on my supplements again. What is miraculous to me is that I was able to go 39 and a half weeks with twins. I delivered a seven pound nine baby and a seven pound two baby, healthy the best part is after I delivered my giant placenta that was supporting these babies, my healthcare provider um, pulled down. She's like, oh my goodness, this, this is the healthiest placenta I have ever seen. What have you been doing? And she said, I can tell what supplements people have been taking often by how the placenta looks. And she has been delivering for 31 years, all the degrees. She had a process for determining the health of the pregnancy based on the placenta. And she taught me a few things. One being that you can get rods of calcification throughout the placenta. That is not good for the baby. It is not good for the mom. And what that comes from? Supplementation. Because doctors will say, go out and take a multivitamin. Go out and take an omega. But the, people will just go and get synthetic vitamins. What synthetic vitamins are, are not real they are not real and most people cannot convert them and if they can convert them it is a high stress on a pregnant woman who is already trying to create life it is not good and in many cases actually is more harmful what i love about our vitamins is they are fully methylated they are from food your body can convert them i do not have those rods of calcification because what i was taking was not getting stored in the placenta and blocking nutrition being passed on to my baby. It was going to my baby. And that is why my babies were healthy and I was healthy and were able to stay that long. You probably know that placentas often start disintegrating when they're supporting multiple children and are able to go that long. Um, 
and I'm so grateful that I chose to take Plexus's um, omega. If you're taking a fish oil, you are not covering all of your omegas. You are getting one, I think, two maybe, I'm not sure. But I know that when I take something that's plant-based, my body can use it. I know that there's no mercury in there from the fish. And I know that my baby is getting full spectrum omegas, every omega to support brain development. This is so key. I also know that when I'm taking my probiotics, that I'm building my microbiome. When a baby is born, as it passes through the birth canal, you give your baby your microbiome. Now is the time to get on your probiotics and fix your microbiome as you're pregnant so you can pass on as much as you can to your babies. It is vital because that determines their immune system, their skin. We've talked about eczema. It's amazing because my daughter had a horrible eczema. We said she had a crocodile back. It was so horrible all the time. We tried all the things, nothing worked. And then as I fixed my microbiome and I was breastfeeding her, it cleared away. And my, my second child only had my good microbiome, no eczema, and neither did my twins. So I feel like that's a huge testament to me. Also, I have, what I did right before I got on this call was finish breastfeeding my twins. They were turning two tomorrow. I've been able to breastfeed my twins, which is huge for two years. Um, and I'm just so grateful because I know that I'm doing the best that I can for my health and for my babies because I am my baby's person. Our babies mimic, they have mimicking neurons. They learn joy from us. They learn their emotions from us. So the best thing I can do is be a happy mom, a joyful mom. I've got all the wristbands on because you've been out partying today. We go out every single day with my four kids that were, they're five and under now. They used to be three and under with four kids. Everyone was in diapers. It was insane. Um, but we go out every day and we experience life and it's joy. And I feel like Plexus has given me permission to have joy because my mental health is in a good place because I have energy to make it through the day because I'm nutritionally supporting myself because we're not sick all the time. And because of the business, Plexus offers so much. I don't have to question the products because there's thousands of lives that have changed because of the products, the science behind it. I don't have to question that every mom needs it. You need the business when you are pregnant cook a business while you're cooking your baby. Something that is so difficult in the United States is that you, what, maybe get two weeks of paid leave. That is not enough time for a mother to adjust physically, emotionally, to take care of their baby. It is an unrealistic expectation we are putting on women. Here is your ticket to being home with your baby. Build a business. When you have your baby, you will know, I'm having this much money come in every single month. This is residual income. You don't have to work in that whole first month. It, it is up to you. There is no limit on what you can earn. You give yourself the raise. You determine how much money you are going to be getting as you've had to, your baby. It's incredible. And if you've already had your babies and you don't have a business yet, we'll start today. Take your kids out, meet other moms because that's who needs this. There are so many women that need help and we have the answer and we can share. It's incredible. Also a huge part of the whole postpartum depression and anxiety is being isolated, but you can stay at home, get on your calls, talk to your plexus mom friends. You can be surrounded with powerful women who are going places who have hope. When you feel like I just have to take care of this baby and I have no control over my life. Our finances are so hard and we have a new baby and I can't be working and, and, and. I'm so tired and, and, and my weight, my hormones are off, all of these things. How are you going to feel? Hopeless, of course. And Plexus checks every single one of those boxes. Plexus is the answer in every single one of those areas. Finances, health, energy, weight, hormones, feeding your baby, keeping your baby healthy. If you've already had your baby and you're not breastfeeding, get them on the probiotics. Get every person in your house on the probiotics. Build every person's immune system. That's the best way you can protect your baby is keep the people around your baby with good gut health. That is where 80% of your immune system comes from your microbiome. I don't know if I have anything left to say, except that this has been the biggest blessing for my family. And I know it has been for everybody else on here too. 
Oh my gosh. I could like 10 X that, like, can we just bottle up that right there and just like pass it to every single mom friend that we know? I have to second everything that she said. My first four kids had seasonal allergies and asthma. They were on medication. My last two, which were postpartum where I was pregnant on plexus, no allergies, no eczema, no warts, no asthma, no uh, projectile reflux. Like my kids had her projectile poops because they had so much gas in their tummy. Your babies get your microbiome. And I have to second what she says about having zero doubt about these products and zero doubt about putting this in my body. We need vitamins. We need minerals. We need ones that are bioavailable. We need probiotics because of the way that our food has been doctored and changed. We actually need supplementation. We shouldn't be afraid of supplementation, especially as we're growing and nursing and raising our children. And the third thing I have to second is the business. I started with a seven week old and I built a seven figure business while raising babies, nursing babies and having babies. And one of the reasons why I decided to do this is because I was no longer willing to tolerate a life where my husband was always gone working so hard for our family. I knew that as we raised these kids, I wanted them to have experiences and memories with their dad. I wanted them to grow up with a happy, healthy mom. I wanted them to grow up knowing, loving, and playing with their dad. And two years ago, I retired my physician husband because of this business. We have products that people need. Whether you are pregnant or not pregnant, you can build a business from anywhere. I built a business from the middle of nowhere on Kauai on three acres, surrounded by roosters, horses, and no Instagram, and 150 Facebook friends. You can do this while you are growing your babies. Ashlyn, that was my favorite line, is you can cook a business and grow a baby. You can do both here with Plexus. And so we hope that if you have mom friends, if you are a mom, if you're someone looking at this for the supplements, the business, or both, that you'll have an open heart and an open mind, and you will send the recording of this call to every single mom friend or expectant mom friend or wanting to be expectant mom friend so that they can start building a healthier life and a healthy business to go along with it. Thank you so much, um, Ashlyn, Tara, and, and Crystal. It was such a blessing to do this with you tonight. And thank you so much, everyone, for being here. We can't wait to see what path you take with Plexus and how this blesses you, your families, and your finances. Thank you so much, you guys. Good night.